there, it's Lindsay here. Today's seed starting day. I'm gonna show you a couple different ways that I like to seed start. So let's go on to the greenhouse, which Jay finished for me yesterday. You're like a river in the dark. You stand me right, you lit the spark. Every wall Come one Come all You're like an early morning breeze Your soft red lips and gentle teeth this is the Harbor Freight greenhouse. I think it's the 10 by 10. We also have the smaller one in our uh, kitchen garden. So um, we've really liked it. It's been, it's been pretty good for the last few years. But we decided we needed something a little bit bigger for seed starting. So we got this to go out here and we're making a really, really big garden in our fenced in area here. It took a little time to put it together. I've heard good and bad things about it, but for the price, I figured you couldn't beat it. And it seems to already be working pretty well. It maintains a good temperature in here, even at night, so. We'll see more and more and I'll keep you updated on how it goes. I finally got all my seeds in from Pine Tree Garden Seeds and a Little Shop of Seeds. So I'm gonna be going through those today and also mixing up my potting soil. I have some spent soil that I just kind of need to amend, but my preferred method is some manure. I like black cow, uh, but just any manure that you can find, along with peat moss. I like to mix those together and have that as my seed starting mix. But I do have some spent dirt that I used for seed starting last year, and my local store only had organic mushroom compost. So I'm gonna mix those together and that'll do just fine. It is hot in the greenhouse today, so I think I'm gonna get out of here to go through these seeds and mix up this dirt. My favorite method for germinating seeds is the paper towel method. So I'll just show you how I do that and where I put them. These will be going inside. They're not gonna be staying in the greenhouse. Um, I only leave in the greenhouse what I'm planting in soil because uh, with the paper towel method, you need it to be a warm, dark place. So I usually put them on top of my dryer when I'm done. I'm gonna start here with my market more cucumbers. There's certain things that I like to seed start this way so I can see and check their germination rate. Um, definitely cucumbers, squash, and tomatoes because they're easy to transplant because they're like a little bit bigger once they sprout. So, if you're going to be putting more than one thing in a Ziploc, then, um, I usually write what they are on the paper. It usually stays pretty good even though you're gonna wet it down. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do that just in case. That way you can do different varieties in the same bag and things like that. But Just got my Market More Cucumbers. This is what I grew last year and I don't think I'll ever grow another variety. They did so good for me. I still haven't done a seed haul from um, Pine Tree. I don't know if I'm going to or not, but. All right. So what I like to do is space these out. That way if the sprouts do go through the paper, I can cut them out and plant them. Because I had to do some of that last year. 
So I'm just going to space them out a little bit and then fold my fold my paper over and just spray this. I'm misting it with water. That'll be fine. And you can even fold it over again if you want. And then I'm just placing this in a Ziploc to keep that humidity in there. And this will get stored on top of my washer dryer combo because that is a warm and uh, dark place. So this is the best place in my house to put them. So I'm gonna start my cucumbers, tomatoes, and squash today this way. But I've also got some stuff that I want to start in soil. So I'm gonna get my soil mixed up pretty quickly. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep? Every night, and what's it dreaming of? I wonder. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder. What wonder? milk jugs from feeding these bottle baby goats so um, I just cut them apart and I'm gonna use those as my plant markers if you haven't seen uh, small town garden life she now has a YouTube channel but she's got so many good ideas about gardening that she posts on Instagram all the time so I'm gonna go ahead and link her channel below but that's where I found out that you could do that I didn't even think about it before but one good way one more thing I don't have to buy and some things I like to either start in soil or direct so um, a lot of my flowers I'll do this way nasturtiums uh, zinnias I direct so into the garden because they just they grow like crazy I'm gonna do calendula in here this year nasturtiums uh, my violas and pansies and stuff like that and maybe some herbs too because I'm experimenting with growing a lot of herbs this year so I'm gonna try a few different methods and one of those is gonna be these but I'm definitely gonna make sure that I label them all you find the way you are I want to know you better give me every detail I won't judge you as you know could stay forever we lying in my arms my heart is open it just took some time now i just hope that you'd stay for a little while you fix what's broken when you make that smile so just stay for a little So 
just stay for a little while I didn't think that I would find that someone Who's as honest as you are It's cold outside, but you make it all right. I wanna know you better. Give me every detail. I won't judge you as you know. I could stay forever. For a little while You fix what's broken separated out all of my seeds these are all the ones that I want to seed start whether in my paper towel method or um, in little containers and then these are all of my direct sow so just to kind of give you an idea of what I only direct sow um, carrots thyme spaghetti squash turnips all of my watermelons uh, cantaloupe all the melons uh, all the pumpkins will be direct so green beans I've got a couple of little things that I've never grown before and I'm gonna try it direct so because I just don't have enough pots or enough space I mean maybe I, I could do it next year but I don't have my I just don't have things in place quite yet but like amaranth I'm gonna try to direct so that stuff of course okra is always direct so that stuff could grow down here it could grow in whatever uh, zinnias sunflowers and also what's ready to grow right now that I'm gonna put it in the garden are all of my uh, lettuces I have lettuce and radish to grow so I've got some blue kale some Boston bib lettuce watermelon radish which those are my favorite radishes I found this uh, all year round lettuce and it's supposed to be good for warmer climates so I'm gonna try it this year and uh, let you know how it goes I don't have a whole lot of luck with direct sowing lettuce but I'm gonna try to be very attentive this year and try to get it done but I'd like to try that and then we got some spinach that we're gonna direct sow and I have this pack of black radishes it's from last year so I'm not sure how good the germination is going to be, but I just thought I'd try it because I have space in the garden for it right now. And then some cherry bell radish. Oh, and I don't know why I have this out here because I'm going to seed start this cauliflower. So I need to change where that's at. But some butter crunch and then something really good to, to just throw right in the ground are the sugar snap peas. Now these will need a trellis. So I'm going to plant these in the kids garden, but they come up really fast and they're really, really delicious. So uh, I'll be doing all of these this week in the garden. 
but that means I have all of these to seed start. Uh, in order to not overwhelm myself, I'm going to just go slow and kind of do a little bit each day. I've got two trays done today. Um, and then I also have some that I'm sprouting inside and I'll kind of stagger those two so I don't get overwhelmed with uh, replanting my sprouted stuff. I think I'm going to go ahead and do these violas today in my last three little containers there. But, um, yeah, I've got a lot more stuff to seed start. And I will be doing those this week. I don't always use the big containers to seed start. Um, I use the little tiny paper cups like you would use for uh, getting a drink of water. Like they used to do the little swish and spit that you keep in the bathroom. That's what I seed started in last year. And then I transplanted to these because I got these kind of uh, mid-seed starting. Uh, but I didn't fill these all the way in hopes that I'll be able to kind of put more dirt in as these plants grow and I won't have to transplant them from a smaller container to a larger container because that was kind of a pain last year. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun, side by side our fears are done, all the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright oh, I've just got we some got kitchen it. shears here I actually use these for the garden but I'm going to cut into the milk jug. I just cut out the handle like that. You can also use these for a scoop. I just reshaped this one uh, so I could use it for putting my dirt in my cups, which I didn't even use it this time. You can, you can do that for like little feed scoops or whatever you need. Um, yeah, these are handy little things. Uh, someone messaged me and said that they use these for, um, you know, when they're painting, they'll cut the top off and use it as a painting bucket because they have a handle. So pretty useful little tools. But once I cut this part out, because it's not super useful, I'm going to cut off the thicker parts around the top, that, and I'm going to cut out the bottom. I can use this a little bit, but it's a lot thicker, so it's kind of hard to cut strips out of. And then I'm just going to cut strips and I will cut these in half. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Are bottom water so you just add in your water here so I'm gonna go get some water and do that we still haven't run water out here to the greenhouse so I'm gonna have to haul it unfortunately but 
kind of gives enough just enough space to pour some water in there we'll just see what these puppies do I do need to get some shelving in here um, so that's something that we're going to do some temporary shelving with and then maybe next year we will work on building it and I say it'll probably be next year because we've just got so many building projects that we're doing this year that this greenhouse is not gonna be first on the list you know we kind of have to expand our living space a little bit so I am going to make a video and tell you a little bit more about that and our process and what's going on because so many of you have been asking about it and I get it. I'm ready for it too. So I'm going to give you an update on everything that's been going on and what we have going on with the house as well. But I just wanted to give you a couple ideas on seed starting and let you know what I'm seed starting right now, what's going to be started this week, what's going to be sprouted this week and I'll just kind of keep you updated all along the way so if you're growing right along with me then um, we're kind of growing the same things my grow zone is zone 7b so if you're around me then um, now's the time to grow these things too and I, I am going to go ahead and put my lettuce and things in the garden and if it frosts I'll throw a sheet or something over them you know little seedlings are are fickle but um my full-grown kale out there just went right through the the freeze and it was fine it said "Ooh, I love that weather <laughs> so that gave me a little confidence to be able to uh, put some lettuce and radishes out because I think they'll make it This will all be tilled up and we'll be ready ready to plant our big stuff we were going to use this frame and build a greenhouse on it uh, but this was faster and cheaper so since this didn't get turned into a greenhouse maybe we will make it a shelter for our buck pen I didn't really explain a whole lot about why we have the bottle baby goats but we're ready to start breeding our goats again um, now that we have a barn and a place to put a milk stanchion and all that good stuff we're ready to breed again so um, I found an awesome breeder who had um, you know a milk breed buck and he is he's a half and half he's half Nubian half Ober, uh, Oberhausen, I think. I don't know. Um, but he's half and half. I, it doesn't matter to me. I'm just, I like milk breeds, so that's what I go with. Um, but the, then she called me back and she said, Hey, I've got another one that was born that I think would make a good, like a good companion for yours. Um, he's a full Nubian. Do you want him? And I was like, Well, yeah. I mean, who's going to say no? She only ended up charging me 25 bucks for him. I mean, how can you say no to a $25 goat? Probably should have, but I didn't because he's the loud one. The one that you've heard probably this entire video. Um, yeah, that's him. He's back there screaming. He's very loud. But since I do have two other weathers, he may end up going to my dad's later on when he gets a herd. But for now, for now he's fine. I told, I offered to raise him and bottle feed him for my dad if he ended up wanting him. We are going to have to very soon fence in another section and put a little shelter for um, our bucks. So, because we're not ready to breed yet, we want to make sure our all our girls are bigger and healthy and uh, Piper and Phoebe are just a little small. I don't want to breed them that small. So, we're going to wait till they're a little bit older. This little turkey turd. What are you doing, buddy? You got dirt in your nose. Oh, Steve. Honey and Steve. Oh, my sweet girl. Always my sweet girl. I scratch you. I scratch you. Oh, he knows his mommy. He knows his mommy. <laughs> anyway, I went off on a tangent. <laughs> But I just wanted to show you what I was doing this week. I'll be working on the rest of those through the week, but my goal is to get them all started in some way uh, by the end of the week. Seed starting, that's kind of how I like to do it. Some stuff I put in pots, other stuff I sprout inside. 
But thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about what I've started today or my methods or anything like that, uh, leave those questions down in the comment section. I'll be happy to talk to you there and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.